congratulations to Fran from Cleveland. You've won the family four-pack of tickets to see High School Musical on Ice at the Q. Have a great time, and really, thank you so much for watching That's Life. Well, any teenager or adult who has suffered with acne would do almost anything to get rid of it. Well, Chris Gibson says you can be acne-free in three days, which is also the title of his book, and he's here to share his all-natural methods. Welcome to you, Chris. Great to be here. Now, do you know what you're talking about? I would think so. Yeah? <laughs> Did you, suffer, did you suffer with, with acne? Uh, yeah, for a long time. It started when I was about 11 years old, and I had it right up into my mid-20s. So, really? Yeah, it was All right. a I wanna, battle. Before we get into the, the cures, I want to talk about some of the causes. Is it stuff that we eat? You know, that's always an interesting question. Everybody asks me. Some dermatologists say yes, some say no. What I found is that in severe cases of acne or adult acne, yes, the diet usually does play a role. It's usually like high sugar. Uh -huh. You find the same, a uh, lot of fats in the diet that contribute to oil. Um, those things do contribute and, and keep it going. I'm glad to hear you say that because I never had a problem with blemishes my whole life until I made Melting Moon cookies when I worked <laughs> in Iowa and I ate all of them, like three or four dozen of them. And it was probably five sticks of butter and my face <laughs> broke out like crazy. And yeah. I always tell my children yeah. it depends on what they eat. Also, uh, if, if you're using a sponge or something like that to put on makeup, Connect, I talk to that a lot. You know, a lot of what I, I noticed going around to the television shows, they use the, the same, we're using the same brushes. Mm -hmm. and I was like, ah, get rid of that. You need to change your brushes, especially girls that use makeup. Throw mm -hmm. them away about once a week or once a month. Buy the cheaper ones. Really? I know, Washing I know some it doesn't of them are, cut it? Not really. Mm -hmm. Not if you have acne. Now, if you're not having okay. problems, you're probably all right. But all right. what happens is the bacteria and oil collects and you're just re Okay. Reapplying it to your All face. Right. So. All right. Well, let's. You had this natural program, mm -hmm. and you brought a before and after picture of, of, uh, of Ryan, somebody who yeah, who, who has used your system. And do we have that picture? That would be uh, all right. Yes. Okay. There we go. Wow. Yes. That's a big difference. Yep, and I don't need an infomercial. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, but no, like, yeah, clients get this, and, and usually people that come to me have tried everything, just mm -hmm. like I did. They've tried the over-the-counter products, tried like either proactive? all of that. They've tried what do you proactive. Think of that? It's it's the same stuff essentially. The ingredients are benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid. That stuff's been around since the early '80s. Mm -hmm. It's really no different. It's just packaged and cheaper for people to buy it that way, I guess. Okay. So, and are I, you it, against that? I'm not or? against anything that works for a person, but the problem with with people with chronic acne issues is that drying your skin makes it worse and a lot of those products like benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid make it worse make okay. your skin drier so right. they have issues with that so so you have brought some things that you recommend in your book and yes. do you recommend these all together or separately? yeah you know I learned a lot of good things from top dermatologists that were that kind of thought outside the box and one of the things that I learned is steaming if you have skin issues or you do a lot of makeup use uh, Steaming at night for about 15, 20 minutes with warm to hot water on a washcloth mm -hmm. will open the pores and, and really get the dirt and oil out. Okay. So, so, so you're, you're putting that directly on your face, on your face. not yeah. leaning yeah. over the, a bowl People ask me water. about the steaming machines. Mm -hmm. I really think the cloth is better because it holds the heat in closer to the skin. That's what I was told to do, okay. and that's what I did. And All it right. really made a big difference. So is that the first step? That's the first step okay. you want to do. It's, the other thing is to look at the moisturizers you're using to make mm -hmm. sure that they're not a, a heavy oil. I use olive oil. That's what the dermatologist told me to use. So cold press. Now olive wait a minute. Oil you said to make sure they're not a heavy. They're oil. not a heavy oil. These are pure oils. Okay. What happens when you buy a moisturizer? Mm -hmm. It has mineral oil in it, which is a really heavy oil for people. Oh, it also okay. has a lot of buffers and chemical things that keep volume, okay. so they can sell it at volume, and that's not really good for your skin, especially right. if you're sensitive. All right, but this is this is that's just cast plain old castor oil. You don't want to drink it. <laughs> it used to be a uh, laxative <laughs> yes. way back in the day, so you want to apply it to the outside of the skin. So do not follow the directions on the bottle okay. and drink it. Okay. Um, but and, but you said you use olive oil. I use olive oil or castor or oil, castor either oil. one. Okay. Castor oil is a little bit heavy for me, but that's what I used in the beginning when I was okay. in my in my early twenties. So. And, and what kind of olive oil? Just the kind cold you cook press, with? Cold yeah, press. Yeah, the dark. Cold Cold press olive oil. Okay. Yeah, All right. Morning oil. and night? Um, just whenever I need it. I, m most acne related issues with people have oily skin, so okay. they really don't need a whole lot, but okay. as you get older, I have to use a little bit more. So, right. But olive oil, yes. All right. Now, what, an essential oil method. Essential yeah. oil. Um, tea tree oil, which is pretty common now. Uh, you hear about it a lot. I use that for any little blemish that. that I have, if I ever get one, which is very rare. Um, I have friends who You mean have just to dab it on? Just, just a little on, yeah. It's okay. an antiseptic, and it's all natural. I try to get away from all of the chemical. It's, 
it's I want pretty, to smell it. It's it's uh, it's an essential oil, so yeah, it's strong. I kind of like the smell though. It smells <laughs> spa-ish. So, <laughs> but, but it will clear up yeah. a it'll clear up a blemish really quickly within really? a day or two. And a Tea lot of the, there's products now on the market that are made to like dry blemishes really mm -hmm. fast. And one day, usually that's a component. So really, tea tree oil. all right, tea tree oil. Okay. The yep. other thing I Next. talk a lot about are soaps. Okay. Um, where a lot of people with sensitive skin, eczema, psoriasis, acne, get into trouble is the soap that they use okay. or the washes. You want to stay away from things that have sodium lauryl sulfates in them, which are very drying. That's what makes them foam. Okay. And it's very, very drying. So I, I recommend Neutrogena or there's a, that's a natural cleansing bar made with olive oil. Those type of, of things are sorbitol. Olive Olay makes a sorbitol mm -hmm. face wash that's really good. So changing that is really helpful to cleanse the skin without stripping all the natural oil out. Okay. So. All right. And uh, do you use this buff? <sighs> yeah, this buff little buff it? puff thing. Um, when I was going to the dermatologist, when you have acne skin, you can't use a scrub, but you need to exfoliate more. Mm -hmm. This little sponge that they make is very gentle and it removes that microscopic layer of dry skin that okay. causes clogged pores. So I really recommend this. I've had several pro football players that had used my method, cleared their skin, but still had the, the rash from mm -hmm. and acne from the pads. This is what I recommend, and it cleared it right okay. up. And, and finally, you have um, supplements. Supplements to supplement to in the diet, because I do talk about the fact that diet plays a role, especially in adult acne, due mm -hmm. to the candida albicon yeast that we all have. So if you're in a high sugar diet and you've had a lot of antibiotic use over your life, mm -hmm. a lot of times that's a connection. These products, vitamin C, garlic, and acidophilus, all help to combat that and balance that back out. It's kind of funny. Now in the mainstream, we have like Activia, which is what I've been talking about for years, is a yogurt that goes through and balances the digestive system, helps clear up the skin. Beautiful. Pretty crazy, Beautiful. isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. And if worse comes to worse, you just shave them off? <laughs> you just shave them off. I, the reason oh. I brought this on is because I ran into a lot of guys have that razor rash, uh -huh. and they're not cleaning their razors. So I recommend that they take the razors, or even an electric razor, and soak it in hydrogen peroxide overnight, about once a week. Beautiful. Kills all the bacteria and cleans the oil off. Chris Gibson, author, holistic health and lifestyle coach, acne free in three days. Thank you so much. Can we get your book anywhere? Anywhere. All right. Anywhere. Amazon.com, anywhere. All of his information information on our website okay. and there is